Welcome back to the Morning Blend with our continuing series, All That Sparkles with Kessler's Diamonds. It's not hard for technology to blow my mind. We talked yesterday <laughs> about an amphibious car, for example. That's right. Well, today we're going to learn more about technology that's turning the diamond industry upside down. Richard Kessler is here, and he's going to talk about lab-created diamonds, the process to make them, which is called CVD, and what you need to know as well. Welcome back, Richard. Yeah, Good thank you. Good morning. You. Yeah, so I think this is a hot topic. A lot of people are interested in understanding more about it because if they've gone shopping, they've they've seen that there's an option for these lab created right. diamonds. The process is called CVD. What does that mean? How does it work? Well, first of all, understand that uh, manufacturing diamonds is nothing new. Mm -hmm. uh, De Beers and General Electric have been manufacturing diamonds since the early 50s, uh, used for industrial purposes. Oh. Uh, but CVD stands for chemical vapor deposition, and I have a short little video that'll show you how that oh, works. Oh, good, because it's actually grown. It is Whoa. so beautiful though. <laughs> it just blows my mind. Yeah, it does. Is there a way to tell? So I'm, I'm curious as a consumer and for you as a jeweler and for a gemologist, is there a way to tell lab created diamonds from diamonds that are mined? There isn't a jeweler in the country that can look at a mined diamond next to a lab grown diamond and tell you definitively which one is which. Hmm. Um, most of them have an inscription on the side which declares that it's a lab grown diamond. So, uh, Most but not all? No. It's not required? No, it's not required. Can you use the word synthetic anymore? Because a lot of people used to say synthetic diamonds. Well, uh, the Federal Trade Commission just a couple of weeks ago made a ruling that these are diamonds in the truest sense of the word. So. Um, and, and you cannot use the word synthetic anymore. So that's a ruling that came out by the Federal Trade Commission, which is going to begin to turn that division of jewelry upside down. Yeah. What about durability? Is the life of a mined diamond then, because you're saying it's essentially a diamond, whether it's lab created or mined, it, do, do you have the same life expectancy, durability, wear and tear kind of stuff? They're absolutely identical in every way, which is why the FTC made the ruling that they did. Yeah. yeah. So the big advantage then is the cost, right? Because they are still less expensive currently. Correct. They're uh, about 30% less. But keep in mind, when he's buying this diamond, he has a budget in his mind. He wants yep. to stay in his budget. And she wants bigger and more beautiful. And so this is an opportunity that affords them 
uh, the chance to get a diamond that's 50 percent larger than a mine diamond. So You're if you were them as the engaged couple, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 So or if you were, yeah, to put a mine diamond next to a, a lab diamond, the difference in size, you're saying, it's always going to be bigger currently for the lab diamond. Absolutely. For and the same price. So when a fella comes in, he says, well, I've got $4,000 to mm -hmm. spend. We pull out a mine diamond for $4,000, and we pull out a lab Oh, look at that difference. Here's an example yeah. right there. And it's, Earth it's mined significant. and newborn created. I, even the wording has changed, which I actually think is good for the consumer, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Um, how? Because we keep saying it's turning the diamond industry upside down. How so? So for the last hundred years, De Beers has controlled 85% of the world's production of diamonds. Um, they've lost that over time, and now they're down to about 35%. Mm -hmm. So this is the 800-pound gorilla who's looking to take control again. It appears as though their plan is to take over the lab-grown market and put the lab manufacturers out of business. They've recently built a $92 million factory in Portland to produce diamonds. Wow. So what I see happening is the price of lab-grown diamonds is going to go down a little bit as they're putting pressure on those manufacturers. Mm -hmm. But the price of mine diamonds is also going to go down. And De Beers has begun closing mines. So what I see happening is once they get control, yep. they are going to raise the price of lab-grown diamonds, lower the price of mine diamonds, and because of the FTC ruling, they're going to all wind up in the same basket, and they're all going to be diamonds. It's all going to be the same. As you said, they're in the truest form of diamonds. So Absolutely. now's probably a good time to come in and <laughs> get the bigger buck, bigger bang for your value. Uh, we're selling tons of them. I think probably 70% of the round diamonds that we sell uh, a woman chooses the larger diamond. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she does. I would too. To me. <laughs> That's not right. Because girls love there. diamonds. Yes. Kesslersdiamonds.com. Stop in. You get your education here. You can go in and shop with them. They'll teach you more in person. Thanks so much for being here, Richard. Thank you for having me. Fascinating. Great to see you. Great information. I love it.